Hello and welcome to Trading the Trend with me, Sean Murison, the Senior Market Analyst at IG South Africa. In focus today, we are looking at the NASDAQ 100 or the US Tech 100. Incidentally, when we talk about trends, this amongst major global indices is one of the strongest trends in play at the moment. NASDAQ up close to around 20% for the year to date. Now, if we look at these indicators at the bottom here of my chart, we've got two, we've got a relative strength comparison. So what we've done here is we are comparing the performance of the NASDAQ to the S&P 500, the, that blue line being a moving average, 200 days simple moving average. And then below that, we've got the Dow Jones Industrial Average compared, well, the NASDAQ compared to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And what we see that is after a year of underperformance, when the price was, or that, that ratio of those, those two stocks was below that moving average, the NASDAQ was underperforming the S&P, and it was underperforming the Dow Jones Industrial Average. At the moment now, we see this ratio crossing above that 200-day um, simple moving average, showing that the NASDAQ is now outperforming the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Index. So from a year of underperformance in 2022, we are now seeing the NASDAQ outperforming uh, the other major US indices in 2023. But not only that, it is outperforming a lot of the other major global indices right now. So longer term trend has reversed from down and we do think we're in a bit of an uptrend right now. In the short to medium term, there is a bit of a sideways consolidation. And with that, with the outperformance, with the longer term trend considered up for the NASDAQ right now, we are keeping a long bias to trades on that NASDAQ. We're looking for long entry on either a pullback and a bullish reversal of trend line support or the lower end of this range at about 12,715. Alternatively, we'd be looking for a breakout, a move above that resistance at about 13 to 90 before targeting a move to 13,720. Now, we are in overbought territory, so if we were to choose what would be the preferable approach, we'd like to see that bit of a pullback to range support towards that confluence of range support and trend line support for long entry uh, before targeting a move back to 13,290 and hopefully through that and towards 13,720. Where we have a reversal low, we'd use that as a stop loss indication, a close below that. In the breakout scenario, a bit more discretion would be required, maybe uh, looking at a close below a one or two day low in search for these higher levels. That's trading the trend. Looking at the NASDAQ 100 with me, Sean Nearson, Senior Market Analyst at IG South Africa.